Hello, Kev Edwards Sim Rally here. Today we are looking at a quick update that uh, Rally Sim fans have released. Uh, so anyone who's new to Rally Sim fans, anytime there's a big update and you change a lot of things, you've got to re-download the installer. So if you go on the website, um, go to the latest installer, which will be the top one. Uh, and then download it and just run it again and just up there. I might do a tutorial video in a minute, actually, because I'll need to do mine. Uh, but for now, we're just going to look at what they've added. So, um, uh, they've added uh, broken windscreen texture by Leza. So that's like the HD um, windscreen. You get like a crack in the windscreen. Uh, I believe if you go on to default on the windscreen um, in the launcher, I think that's that might be that the windscreen isn't there. Uh, although they might have changed it, you'll have to see on the um, on the update. I imagine it'll be more uh, sort of straightforward. Um, new track IR view range, so that must be like the track IR. I think is where you look, isn't it? In the screen turns, I don't use that, so I don't know too much about it. Uh, new FOV calculator links in RSF launcher. Uh, when override FO view and cockpit view is enabled. Okay, so the calculator, there's a couple of FOV calculators going around, but the it's not set up right for RBR because it's done differently. It's done horizontally or instead of vertically or whatever it is. So a lot of these calculators that have RBR on it don't actually work. It's not given. It's not given us the uh, the correct FOV. Um, there's one specific one that does so that must be the one that they've linked in the in the launcher so that's handy to have because a lot of people are always asking for that and um, i might actually redo mine since i haven't re redone mine since i've changed my setup because everything's kind of the same but yeah uh, we'll have a go uh, new wrong way methods moved under the timer to make it less distracting optional hide wrong way okay I thought that was already on it. I'm sure that, that was already there. So that's basically, if you're going the wrong way, you get the notification. Uh, you can do away with that if you want. Uh, new default race cam option in RSO Launcher. The default view when a car goes to the starting line. New default race cam option in RSO The default view when a car goes to the starting line. So I get it, I guess... Uh, I guess that is default cam, race cam option. Uh, I'm not too sure what that is. I don't know if that just means rather than looking out the car, you're in the car on the lineup. I had a guess, um, but play it around with that when it comes. New high process priority during races and replays may help to avoid occasional stuttering and guess you see NGP in a car sample and process priority priority explanation for details i think that just means uh, it puts all the resources uh, into rbr sort of focuses on rbr as, as uh, a priority resource where it is if it doesn't it might just look at it as just a little program running in the background uh, so that's uh, that'll be a good a good one for people who are struggling uh, new custom rbr stages shown in tests to the non rsf Online approved BTB stages are now available in practice menu to benefit from RSF car selections and setups. So I think that must be when you want to, if you want to install your own BTB stages that aren't available to use in the tournaments, you can install them and you can uh, use like setups and stuff. I think if you use the sort of default RX plugin, whatever it was called. I don't think you can, I think it's all default setups. Uh, so that gives people who are testing stages and stuff uh, the option to use um, different cars. And to, it's a bit of a nuisance because you have to download the CIT installer um, and then fill the cars. When you go on to Rallycross, it still shows the original cars, even though you might have a different car in that slot. So it can be a bit of a nuisance because you might pick you might be wanting you might go on the subaru thinking that's where you've got your hyundai i20 installed and it's not a, it's a bit of trial and error uh, so that must do away with that so that's really good uh, 
Improved installation and use of custom stages in classic format is now easier. Stage specific sub subfolder in maps, track any track settings, track file name, any file support shown in test track stage folder. So that must be, um, yeah, that must be custom stages again. When you're putting your own stages in, you, you can find stuff a bit easier. Not something I delve into, so I'm not 100%. Uh, improved track IR with extended viewer range. Uh, I thought that was up the top there. Uh, range extender. Okay, that's something to do with track IR again. Improved my paste note feature automatically merges a custom note file with the latest map data when required. Sometimes after a map update, custom note may need a few updates also. Now this is done automatically under the hood when necessary. Okay, that must be when like stages are updated and stuff. You're still using different the original paste notes maybe. Um, so it looks like something you don't even have to worry about anymore. Uh, improve rather radio delays, the pause music until the stage has been fully loaded. That's a nice one. I've only just started using that rally radio. It's quite cool. But when you're loading into it, as soon as you click the stage, the music goes off. So then you might have like 10 seconds of loading screen where you could still be listening to your music. Um, where it's better when the car... Now, now you'll get it through the loading screen and it'll go until you get to the start line. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Improved... Okay, yeah. So basically, as, full, as, as soon as the stage loads, then it cuts out rather than the loading screen. Oh, yeah. Improved the red standard time, exceed the time. Okay. So that was. Um, sometimes you get a red square, like a rectangle, on your top of the screen. That was like the that was when the default stage time limit had been met. Uh, I used to find it really annoying, so I ended up turning the clock and everything off. But. I still wanted the, the clock, um, so I might have to, I might be able to turn the clock back on now, and I don't have to worry about that red uh, rectangle. I used to find it quite off-putting because it remind me of how slow I was. So yeah, I'm glad that's sorted. <laughs> it was just pointless to be honest. Uh, fix stage loading, but bug fix service and in practice mode, always new. Keep previous car state option. Um, Okay, not too sure what that is, but it's fixed. Uh, and don't really use practice. I always tend to go on uh, the hot lap mode or just normal rallies. Because I always think if I'm running, if I'm practicing stages, I might as well register a quick time if I get one. Um, fix freeze frame bug fix in replay mode. RBR was frozen completely if escape key was pressed during free frame state in replays. Can't say I never noticed that bug, so um, I don't really use it that much, so, but fixed anyway. Fixed overflow of the results list in online rallies causing incorrect row order after service parks. Okay, that's that was something that was quite confusing, which is being sorted. Fixed custom dashboard scaling bug fix in RSF launcher when res resolution was more than 1920 by 1080. I think that was... Um, the dashboard could go off screen or would cause issues so that'll be a nice fix for people I don't have my dashboard on so not something I've noticed uh, but I know quite a few people were um, mentioning it in the discord channels uh, use default Richard Burns SE 4 gigabyte patch allows 4 gigabyte so that's like a sort of quality of life type improvement um yeah the, i didn't realize it wasn't defaulted anyway i thought it was but just allows better better memory anyway and um, other bug fixes so other stuff's being uh, sorted new stages zaton zaton 2 by matto 22 updated stages rally sprint hanover rr 2011 yeah uh, that's nice and Verged Vergesanti, I can't pronounce it. Have these stages install the fix? I'm not too sure what that was. That must have been if you didn't install it off the bat and then went to install it. Maybe there was a problem. Not too sure. Um, but 
but yeah, another great update. Uh, some good features there, some good fixes. Um, handy if you're using Tracker AI. I like the radio one. I think the radio one's probably one of my favourites uh, out of that. Um, yeah, that, that, I, I appreciate that one. And the windscreen bug, although I had uh, done it manually anyway. So yeah, uh, well done to the Rally Sim fans guys. And thanks for all the hard work.